Welcome to this course on transition metal organometallics in cat uh, catalysis and biology. We have been uh, to, uh, talking about non uh, group 4 metal based olefin polymerization catalyst. This is indeed a very interesting uh, area that uh, uh, we have been focusing upon, uh, upon and, and uh, to uh, say uh, the least that this started actually the uh, whole uh, field of olefin uh, polymerization catalysis actually originated from uh, 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 our non uh, group 4 uh, metal based uh, 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 phenomenon and this is what is the uh, famous nickel effect uh, that led to uh, identification of group 4 metal based uh, transition metal complexes which are extremely active for olefin catalysis and uh, then subsequent research uh, uh, in areas which are uh, beyond uh, uh, group 4 transition metals uh, they uh, eventually uh, uh, took place and in that uh, uh, context we have spoken about uh, the lanthanum uh, trans, uh, transition metal complexes. Also uh, we have spoken about iron and then in the last uh, uh, lecture uh, we had uh, seen how palladium took the center stage. Uh, first nickel and then palladium. Uh, for nickel the story has been that it has been like coming to a full circle because it is the nickel effect which had uh, indeed uh, uh, led to the start of uh, uh, these uh, um, uh, uh, polymerization of uh, olefins and then later on uh, it is the uh, Bruchert uh, who had uh, developed catalyst which was uh, uh, sort of uh, uh, useful for uh, olefin pol polymerization. So let me just uh, 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 run it down. So we started with nickel in uh, so called nickel effect. Uh, led to uh, titanium uh, 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 Ziegler Nata uh, which led to zirconium uh, as well as titanium uh, metallocene catalyst uh, this was heterogeneous and these were homogeneous that, that uh, uh, led to lanthanum uh, metallocene uh, again homogeneous. Now this is a non group 4 metal then uh, we went to iron uh, and this was uh, uh, non CP. Uh, a non CP ligand uh, and then finally uh, from iron uh, with Bruchert we went back to uh, nickel uh, uh, which was uh, this uh, uh, famous uh, nickel uh, catalyst uh, that uh, of this type. Uh, the ligands which are used are or and uh, they uh, uh, mainly uh, are of uh, this type the catalyst represented Or, or, or bromides uh, now with uh, nickel uh, this could produce a uh, long chain linear polymer as well as oligomers depending on the uh, substituents of the, uh, the nickel followed by uh, the work by uh, uh, Bazan which we have dis uh, discussed uh, uh, about uh, 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 in the tandem uh, catalysis where they could uh, produce a ethylene one butene uh, copolymer using a single uh, monomer. So now uh, 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 there is another interesting uh, discovery which sort of 
uh, change uh, uh, the field in a dramatic way is that when uh, this metal, uh, when the metal bound to uh, this ligand, when the metal bound to this ligand is changed from uh, nickel to palladium, uh, uh, then uh, uh, there is a startling uh, uh, discovery. And the startling discovery is that when this metal is uh, palladium, uh, uh, then uh, one can do polymerization of olefin with uh, functional uh, co-monomers. So, so, this is a really and very interesting discovery because uh, uh, olefins with functional group uh, uh, sort of poisons uh, uh, the catalyst and such kind of co-polymerization with olefin with functional monomer uh, absolutely uh, uh, was a uh, real tough challenge uh, at that uh, point of time and this was overcome by substituting uh, nickel which uh, happily uh, did uh, ethylene uh, polymerization or ethylene alpha olefin copolymerization uh, with uh, palladium uh, um, that uh, sort of uh, 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 could carry out eth ethylene polymerization with func polar functional monomers. So, this is a very interesting story. It was uh, again developed by Bruchert in the JSCS uh, uh, 1988 paper. The request uh, the interested uh, students to look uh, this uh, uh, reference up. Uh, and uh, uh, the copolymerization uh, uh, was uh, 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 shown over here, olefin plus vinyl monomers, functionalized monomers in presence of the catalyst of this type. palladium methyl OET plus and PAR4 minus a non coordinating anion in dichloromethane uh, 1 to 6 bar pressure 30 degree centigrade. So, almost a room temperature reaction uh, could give uh, uh, this much wanted CH. CH2XOR CH2Y CH CH2W CH3 CH2Z N so, this is uh, amorphous highly branched branch product with uh, polar uh, ester groups, polar ester side groups. Uh, so, this is a, a very interesting uh, uh, discovery which could copolymerize and uh, that uh, there is a, a, a polar functional side group now uh, present on the polymer uh, backbone, backbone. So, uh, 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 this was sort of the breakthrough uh, first uh, uh, provided by uh, uh, Bruchert in being able to carry out uh, polymerization of uh, polar functional monomer uh, with uh, uh, olefin. Subsequent to that uh, there were other uh, uh, groups like grubs and uh, so on and so forth uh, could uh, report uh, some other complexes as well as uh, Bazan uh, report other complexes that could uh, successfully carry out such uh, uh, polar uh, polymerization. Now, uh, moving on uh, uh, there was a uh, Another uh, focus was on uh, obtaining uh, 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 being able to actually polymerize ethylene and uh, mm, mm, carbon monoxide. 
CO copolymerization. Now, it is important uh, 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 to note that uh, C2H4 homopolymerization uh, is possible. However, CO homopolymerization Uh, is not possible. And uh, uh, these uh, would uh, result, this uh, polymerization would result in polyketones, uh, which, uh, uh, which have uh, very important uh, uh, polymer properties, uh, are important for their uh, uh, polymeric uh, properties. Now, uh, for uh, being able to uh, carry out uh, this uh, ethylene CO copolymerization, uh, the first report was uh, given by Repi in 1952, uh, who sort of uh, uh, had uh, uh, observed that uh, uh, one, if one takes uh, alpha olefins and uh, uh, carbon monoxide in presence of catalyst, then one could get a polyketone, uh, poly 3 oxo trimethylene. Uh, the, uh, in presence of a catalyst uh, like K2 uh, Ni uh, Cn uh, uh, 4. Uh, uh, in some product. So, one could uh, see its formation uh, 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 and that was first reported by Repi in 1952. Uh, the first breakthrough was however uh, reported by Drent um, uh, uh, about uh, more than 30 years later in 1996 when uh, 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 using a catalyst he, he could polymerize ethylene and CO uh, using a phosphine based catalyst uh, in HOTS uh, methanol. Uh, 65 degrees centigrade, uh, 40 bar pressure, uh, he could make uh, polyketone molecular weight 200,000 Tm equals to 60 degrees centigrade and this is a, a thermoplastic material. Uh, so, uh, the breakthrough actually in being able uh, to uh, make uh, polyketone successfully uh, uh, in being able to polymerizing uh, 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 came much uh, later in 1996 as a report from Drent. Now, there are two aspects to it. Uh, uh, the first observation was however made by Repi in uh, 1952. Now, there are two aspects to it. One is that uh, the alternating addition of uh, 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 CO as well as uh, ethylene to give polyketone. And uh, there were uh, no, uh, this polyketone polymer showed that it was really indeed a alternating polymer where both the groups were inserting one after another and that is what uh, uh, which was confusing because uh, uh, though uh, CO homopolymerization is not known, uh, but uh, ethylene homopolymerization is quite uh, known. So, there were chances that uh, one may see 2, 3 ethylene insertion uh, uh, followed by 1 CO, but uh, to everybody's surprise what was found that the polymer really had 1 is to 1 incorporation of ethylene and CO which said that it is indeed uh, an alternating insertion of CO uh, uh, and ethylene. Now, uh, based uh, on the catalyst and the proposed mechanism uh, and doing the end group analysis of a, a polymer. So, actually this is a very powerful method of uh, finding out uh, uh, the insight about the polymer mechanism uh, is by looking at the end groups which are present in the polymer and what they showed that uh, there were uh, uh, two end groups, one is car carbonyl compound, another is uh, ester uh, compounds and uh, the fact that uh, 
the two end groups are uh, uh, provided uh, uh, obtained in nearly equal amounts which sort of said that uh, both the polymerization uh, were happening uh, 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 in uh, equal way. So, this is illustrated by uh, this nice example of the mechanism uh, shown over, over here. Uh, so, for example, the catalyst which is in short is written by PP a palladium uh, acetate or maybe I will uh, draw it uh, nicely. Uh, this uh, the catalyst uh, 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 would give a catalyst precursor uh, which uh, is drawn by losing uh, two acetate uh, the catalyst precursor. So, now there are two pathways uh, one uh, I am showing in green. So, it can add a CO to give P D C O 2 plus uh, and that uh, can uh, uh, take methanol, add methanol giving out H plus and resulting in the compound P D P P P D C O plus uh, and then once this is formed uh, this uh, can subsequently undergo various coordination insertion of uh, ethylene and C O uh, to give a polymer P D with the polymer uh, with the in group uh, being a ketone. So, alternating ester in group in polymer. Uh, whereas, the other possibility it might as well be it uh, first uh, takes methanol and gives out H plus to give P P P D O C H 3 plus and that can eliminate uh, uh, aldehyde. CH2O giving palladium hydride which again can uh, do CO ethylene polymer uh, to gi uh, give a polymer which has a ketone end group. So, alternating ketone end group. Now, this species again uh, can react with CO or to give the ester. So, now uh, the uh, glimpse of the mechanism uh, can be obtained by the fact that uh, um, one can uh, get a alternating polymer with ketone end group or one can get an alternating polymer with ester uh, end group uh, depending on uh, how uh, in what sequence it uh, reacts uh, uh, with the uh, solvent and uh, this also throws insight as to mechanism of this uh, polymerization uh, reaction. And the chain propagation uh, 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 happens through alternating uh, insertion step as it uh, shown over here. Uh, 
giving CO now uh, this uh, CO uh, comes and enters over here to give the product Uh, to give the product which then uh, binds to an olefin now in the, once the co has inserted uh, the olefin uh, uh, would also insert over here uh, then the corresponding uh, the inserted uh, product would be Now again uh, uh, to this another molecule of CO will come uh, which uh, uh, will come and insert over there uh, to give the corresponding Uh, CO inserted product and that uh, uh, subsequently uh, it will result in poly uh, 3 oxo tri methylene polymer. So, these are uh, polyketones. Now, uh, what is interesting uh, uh, about uh, here is the fact that uh, both uh, CO and ethylene they are undergoing insertion uh, uh, alternatively. Uh, so, for example, here, here. So, it is sequential alternating interest, uh, insertion uh, uh, which is uh, um, uh, happening. Now, to uh, sort of have an insight on this one has to consider the following. Uh, for example, there are chances that instead of having this uh, alternative insertion there can be chances that double insertion of uh, carbonyl can happen to insertion of carbonyl. Now, double insertion of carbonyl uh, is an uphill and impossible task. Uh, so, that is discounted huh. uh, uh, double insertion of uh, CO is an uphill task and uh, hence discounted. That means that CO homopolymerization does not happen and it is discounted and uh, uh, hence uh, is not considered. So, then one uh, what is uh, one left with is a double uh, or homopolymerization of ethylene or uh, alternating polymerization of ethylene and uh, hmm, uh, propylene. Now, homopolymerization of ethylene is energetically favored. So, uh, has to be con uh, considered or taken into account and uh, the finally, the mechanism of this has been illustrated elucidated by uh, Bruchard a very elegant example mechanistic study uh, in 2000 uh, which sort of explained uh, provided evidence in uh, favor of uh, uh, this alternative insertion of palladium. So, what Bruchard did was uh, he showed that this catalyst is present in uh, two uh, forms. Uh, for example, uh, uh, this is the uh, polymer chain uh, where ethylene is coordinated. So, when uh, that is formed it has two possibilities one is uh, that uh, Mm, it can insert uh, 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 to this or uh, the uh, one uh, maybe I illustrate this with the uh, 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 thing. One possibility will that this will undergo insertion uh, uh, and what is the this is possibility number one and other possibility is that this coordinates uh, may be replaced uh, by a carbonyl which is a more stronger binding. So, this is possibility number two. Uh, so, if carbonyl displaces uh, ethylene uh, which is more fast then uh, and this is a very uh, fast reaction and uh, K, uh, K equilibrium uh, is about 10 to the power 4, 10,000 times faster, uh, then it produces uh, this uh, uh, 
uh, palladium um, CO coordinated uh, compound plus uh, ethylene uh, uh, and uh, this CO and now uh, then CO can uh, insert uh, into uh, this olefinic bond. CO can insert into this olefinic bond uh, to give the uh, alternate uh, CO polymerization. Uh, as, uh, uh, as is shown over here uh, and uh, uh, the other thing can be a double insertion uh, 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 as we said that this possibility number 1 where this can insert into this uh, then the double inserted product uh, can also be uh, PD CO uh, this is PD plus. So, what we find over here is that uh, uh, two insertions of olefinic unit has happened. One is this, another is this. Now, uh, this uh, and this let us say is given by uh, K1 dash. Uh, so, the ratio of uh, K1 by K1 uh, dash is approximately a, a 10 to the power 200. So, overall, uh, overall as a uh, Mm, uh, let me summarize as uh, this is bigger much greater than this as well as this equilibrium constant is 10 to the power 4 times in favor of this. So, it is uh, what uh, we see is favored the alternating uh, insertion of ethylene uh, with polyethylene is what is uh, favored. So, mm, uh, with these uh, uh, we come uh, to the end of uh, the catalyst development story the non uh, uh, group 4 uh, the metals and let me just uh, summarize uh, uh, the, the uh, overall findings uh, uh, of this uh, uh, work which has been discussed so far. So, uh, there are actually two types of metals uh, uh, first is the early transition metal early transition metal. And uh, uh, we had also uh, uh, this is how we started uh, the uh, uh, story with and then uh, we had seen that uh, uh, the central metal atom uh, metal atom for these early transition metals usually a are usually are titanium 4, uh, zirconium 4 hafnium 4, uh, uh, lanthanum 3. Uh, then uh, the ligands uh, which are uh, used uh, for this uh, ligands in precatalyst uh, usually uh, had been uh, uh, Cp minus and uh, halides, uh, uh, counter anion Uh, for these uh, case uh, the counter anion had been non coordinating uh, coordination geometry uh, uh, the coordination geometry is pseudo octahedral. Uh, active site is uh, of this geometry uh, and uh, functional group tolerance. tolerance and in this case absolutely none. And what we saw that as we evolved from 
early transition metal to something uh, of late transition metal uh, in the course of uh, catalyst development, uh, uh, what was found that the metals uh, which really did well are iron 2 uh, and then uh, nickel 2 and palladium 2 uh, actually uh, they sort of did the trick whatever was uh, complementary or uh, challenge for these early transition metal they were uh, made by the late transition metal. The ligand used were uh, diphos, these are non CP type ligands diamine or uh, halide X minus type of ligand. Uh, counter anion uh, however is uh, 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 the same weakly or non coordinating counter anion. Um, uh, in terms of active site, active site is almost uh, similar uh, uh, of uh, uh, what we had seen. Uh, uh, coordination geometry is uh, probably I will write that first. Uh, uh, coordination geometry is pseudo square planar, mostly a, a uh, mostly square planar. and that is inconsistent with uh, D8 uh, configuration of nickel and uh, palladium and the active site is shown over here. And there is the uh, vacant site and the functional group tolerance yes uh, uh, that is a big yes for uh, late transition metals that they are indeed uh, functional uh, group. Uh, 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 tolerant. So, uh, here uh, is uh, the summary uh, 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 which brings out uh, the comparison between the early transition metal and the late transition metal and uh, uh, which may sort of differentiates between the two is this functional group tolerance and uh, that uh, sort of helps this late transition metal uh, to uh, carry out uh, copolymerization of ethylene with polar functional monomers. So, with this uh, uh, we come to the conclusion of today's lecture and hereby uh, in this lecture we uh, complete our discussion on the transition metals in catalysis uh, aspect of this course where we have seen a lot of uh, uh, important industrial large scale uh, processes uh, that are carried out by organometallic catalyst. Uh, right from rapid synthesis, metathesis, polymerization so on and so forth. And then uh, we move on to another very interesting aspect of organometallic chemistry that is bio organometallics uh, or uh, the applications of organometallic chemistry in biology. This aspect uh, actually is still in the developmental stage and we have a uh, few uh, very exciting developments that, uh, to talk about in the context of applications of organometallic chemistry when we meet next. And I once again thank you for being with me in this uh, 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 throughout this course uh, particularly I enjoyed a lot uh, um, talking about uh, various important processes of organometallic chemistry kind of showcasing uh, the prow, uh, prowess, uh, powers of organometallic chemistry and the features of organometallic chemistry. And uh, we move on uh, to the other aspect of organometallic chemistry particularly a, a bio organometallic uh, uh, chemistry. So, with this once again I thank you and I look forward to uh, take up the bio organometallic chemistry in details when we meet next. Till then goodbye and thank you.